Well, there's a really fun event supporting a great cause tonight, and I am looking forward to hosting it. It's called Corks for Support, and you can join us tonight at the Royal Oak Farmers Market. And here to tell us more about this and the great cause it supports are Bob Visconti, who's the founder of Detroit Wine Organization, and John Jonah. John Jonah. John Jonah. <laughs> also a founding uh, board member. Good to see you. Thank you very much. And a wine Thanks expert. For us. Yeah, I'm a sommelier. Which, which officially makes you one of our new best friends. That's so. right. <laughs> Here, let me get your cell. And, uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thanks. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, you, so you have this big event tonight. We do. It's called Corks for Support. It's to benefit the uh, Ali Baldwin Foundation, all right, in conjunction with Michigan uh, Children's Hospital. So we're really excited about that. It's a great cause. Uh, part of what goes on is the foundation actually raises money because Allie unfortunately passed away. Mm. So uh, what her parents realized is that there wasn't enough time with the parents having to work in today's society for people to be able to spend time with ill children. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they work through Wayne State University and they fund uh, the event so that uh, med students can actually spend time with the children that are sick. Wow. And yeah. this is at the farmer's market. It is, Royal Oak Farmer's Market. It's a, you know, it's too bad you, you uh, don't have a host. Um, I'm <laughs> thinking that maybe we, somebody might be... I think we found... I'm available. One. Yeah, <laughs> she's over there. <laughs> well, so, we're going to enjoy a lot of wine there, right? Yes, we are. yes. Uh, yes. So I'm part of the wine program. Okay. I, uh, I help select the wines, put them all together. I'm also part of the uh, selection of these wines and the Salometti that you see here. Mm -hmm. So I kind of put this tray together to show you kind of the variety of things that come from Italy. One of the things we're doing at this event is focusing on individual regions and areas. So each table is going to be France, Italy, California, uh, different parts of the world. And each table is going to give you an educational aspect of winemaking. Okay. So on this table here, I have Parmesan Reggiano. I have a Salamette Secchi, which is this dried salami, and a beautiful goat cheese. So those are some of the things that we're going to be doing tonight. Okay. So And part of our, if I may, our mantra is fun, education, and contribution. That's what the Detroit Wine Organization is all about. So certainly uh, Children's Hospital in Michigan is part of that. We've partnered with other wonderful charities, including Gleaners. And, you know, since we've been doing this, we incorporated in 2002, we've raised over a million dollars for different charities. So we're really proud of that. And to John's point, we've got 100 plus wines that are fabulous from all over the world. And so we're really excited and hoping that people can join us. Let's uh, talk about the wines that we have on display. Yeah, what we have here is an array of Italian wines from the, specifically the, the region of Italy. Okay. That's a Prosecco to begin with right here. Right here. And these are uh, wines from Apulia from Chianti. In your glass is a Chianti, and we okay. have a Burgundy glass for you, and this is also a Chianti. So if you want to kind of examine it with me, I'm going to want you to hold up your glass. Which one of these two? The, either one. Wish. Okay. So take a good look at the color and tilt your glass like this. Look at this little rim here. That's called mm -hmm. the meniscus of the wine. Kind of tells you the character. It has a little touch of brownish red here, mm. which tells you that this wine really has the, the perfect age and the classic look of the San Giovese grape which is the primary grape here. Okay. Then give it a little swirl in your glass. Okay. Hold it down by your chin right here. Get those first aromas, mm. then a deep sniff, and then stare at the sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> what you want, to, you, you want to make sure that those aromas are clean and crisp and don't have any off aromas. And then uh, what we want to teach with the Detroit Wine Organization is how to taste wine and enjoy wine and be educated about it. Okay. So you got to examine it. I'll demonstrate. I'm going to chew and slurp. <laughs> I don't know this guy. Then swallow the wine. Okay, so don't just <laughs> guzzle. No, you want to taste it. You want to feel the wine. It's called the tactile sensation of the wine. You're really going to feel it. When you're at a fancy restaurant, this is the way to do it. You're going to feel this kind of grip on your palate. Mm. Some nice acidity. And if you really want to have a great lesson in how wine affects food, take a little piece of that Parmesan Reggiano, take a bite of that, and then sip the wine. And you're going to see that the wine changes dramatically. And this is the amazing thing about Italian wine. Mm -hmm. It is great with food. Am I right, Bob? Oh, you're absolutely correct. This is a Wine Spectator top-rated Chiani Classico. The last three years, Delightful. vintages have gotten 90-point scores. But we've got 100-plus wines that are every bit as good as this, just different, which is the wonderful thing. Good stuff. Well, Did that work, by the way? <laughs> That's amazing. It's delicious. You have to, have to host the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Please join us tonight at the Corks for Support event at the Royal Oak Farmers Market starting at 630. For more information, visit the website DetroitWine.org and click on the events tab. Hope to see you guys there. Yeah, you will because you're Mr. Subceremonies. Mr. Subceremonies, there you go.